Hello guys, Elliot here from Tint School Online. Now in this video, we're gonna show you how to install the window film when you're working in the outside environment. Now our business Global Tint has a large portion of it where it's actually just working in the outside weather. So despite what many people may think, it is possible to do a perfect installation outside with the right methods. Now with our mobile tinting course that is in our 200 plus program, um, we break down many installation secrets which can really help you with your installation. For instance, you know, if it's too windy, and um, we have tutorials where you can install the film from inside the car and this means that you know you will not be affected by the outside weather now in this tutorial um, we're going to be focusing on just the installation side of the film so the window film's already been cut um, we've already removed the weather strip from inside the panel and i'm going to be fast tracking the things like you know the cleaning process and obviously this tutorial is going to be 20 hours long if you broke down everything properly now in my videos um, it's just really important that you learn properly. Um, it was built from training hundreds of window tinters and marking down all of their mistakes so you know you won't make them. And I like to focus on one task at a time and get the important bits down before moving on. Now there really is so much involved in window tinting despite what you may think. You know, window tinters don't make thousands of dollars a day overnight. And you know, if you're watching this because you're serious on becoming a window tinter or even starting your very own tint business, um, we also have again a 20 plus hour full program that will teach you how to tint and how to build your business with some of the top marketers in this industry. And also, if you want us to release uh, more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, the more subscribers we get, um, the more that we're going to film and release to you guys on YouTube. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the film to a roll down window when you're outside. Now, again, as I said in the introductory tutorial, you're really going to have to, you know, judge what the weather's like. If it's too windy, you're going to have to go to the tutorial where you install from inside the car. But you know, it's only a little bit windy today, so I'm going to show you how to install the film outside. Now, when you're doing this, I would really recommend getting a peel board because if you have a peel board, you can use it as a wind blocker, place it right here, and then you could pick the film up and do a nice, quick, easy movement. It's also a lot better because on a peel board, the film is going to be on a clean piece of glass instead of on a car panel with all the grooves and all the dust that could be on it. So if you do want to go mobile tinting and you want to take it seriously, I would really recommend investing in a peel board. Again, really good wind blocker, and it's just one quick motion to get the film on the glass. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it on the vehicle. So the next step is we're going to get our film and we're just going to place it on the car where we're going to peel it. So just remember to wipe the car down. There's a lot of water here and we're going to get our film. So when you're pulling it out, if the wind is like this, you want to make sure you're pulling it each side to stop it from creasing. If you try to pull the film out and you're holding it with slack, you're going to get creases as the wind catches it. So we want to pull it tight like this. And we put one magnet here then we would put one magnet here then i'll just spray the film just to keep it cool so if you notice here the bottom of the film is facing away from me so that way there i can do one quick motion when i'm installing it on the glass so the next step is again you're going to have to judge this depending on the weather um, is if it's really hot you want to make sure that there's something blocking the heat from heating up the glass when you go to install the film. Because if you go to install the film with it being black, the water's gonna dry out so quick and it's gonna become very sticky and you're gonna have a lot of problems when you're trying to install it. So what we're gonna do, we've got a white pillowcase, white because it's gonna keep it as cool as possible. And we're gonna stick it to the outside here. Then we're gonna use bulldog clips. Then we're gonna clip it to the outside of the glass. Use a magnet here to stop it blowing up. Now what this does again is when it's really hot, when you go to install that film, it's gonna stick instantly and you're gonna have a lot of problems getting it on, you're gonna have a lot of contamination. So this just cools the outside of the window down, making it easier for the film to slide down. It's just a white pillow sheet. You can use anything that's white. You just wanna clip it to the outside 
of the glass. And again, you can use the magnet if you need to hold it down. So we've removed the trim on this one. We're gonna do the drop down method. Now, if it's really windy, the next level you can take it to is doing the half peel method. Now you can actually half peel it and remove the trim. It's gonna make it even easier. The reason that the next level would be half peeling it because you're gonna have so much more control of the film because the weight of the backing sheet is gonna stop it from blowing around. But again, we're gonna use the panel drop method on this one. So we're just gonna clean it as normal. And when you clean it as normal, we wanna make sure the window has got a lot of soapy water in it because of the heat that's gonna still be getting through to the glass. We don't want any of the soapy water to dry out, so we're gonna get it nice and wet. And again, like in the beginner's tutorial, we don't wanna to spray too much at the top because we don't want any dirty water to run down, so we're just gonna make sure the window is nice and wet. So now we're gonna peel the backing sheet off the film. Now, the really awkward thing about this, again, it's going back to judging the weather and the timing, you're gonna to have to make sure you pull it when the wind has stopped. So if you pull it in the middle when there's a big gust of wind coming, you know, the chances are there's gonna be debris that's gonna get in the film or it's gonna peel the film off the car and cause problems. So first thing I'm gonna do, spray the outside of the film. And then we'll spray it underneath it. And then we're gonna remove both magnets. Again, you wanna be so careful that this doesn't get picked up. So just keep an eye on it. I'm gonna start peeling at the top here. Be very careful. Now what you can do, if it is really windy, is you can flush your magnet and stick it in the top corner. So make sure that if you're doing that trick, it's always on the bottom part of the film. Because if it's at the top, you're gonna to get specks in it and they're gonna be visible. But here, it's gonna be behind the panel anyway. So we're gonna peel the film. Again, be very careful. When we get to this stage, we're gonna use a lot of water as it's gonna weigh the film down. And if we need to, we can spray the window again. We're gonna peel it from each side. We're gonna leave the magnet on for now. I'm gonna slide it out like that. So if you're finding that the film is blowing all over the place because it's just too windy, you need to bring the film inside of the vehicle as there's gonna be no wind and let it settle down and then go ahead to carry on with the install. Now, as long as you hold the film tight on both sides and pull away, you're not gonna have any creases when the wind blows. It's just gonna fold the film back. So again, We'll come inside the vehicle until the wind stops and it will settle the film down and you can restart again. So we go here, I'm holding the film. You do not want to do outside tints with the no touch method and notice that I'm pulling this away. Now the reason I'm pulling it away is because when the wind tries to pick any of the film up here, I've got a good grip here that's going to stop it from touching. So we come in here, again still holding this side and I can feed the film in. I'm gonna give it a spray. Everything at this stage is all as normal, but remember that for these tutorials, we haven't shrunk the roll down windows. So we're gonna stretch the film across. Trim the top. And as I say, we're gonna stretch the bottom because we didn't shrink it. So we'll come in here, put some pressure there. Come in here, put some pressure there. Again, use our contour, same thing again. So there we have it. That's how you install a roll down window outside again. As I said in the introduction tutorial, being a good mobile tinner is about adapting to your surroundings. So you'd use different methods at you know, different moments. You're just gonna have to judge which method is right for which situation. Now, even though it is actually quite windy here, I know that that would have went on perfectly, but you just wanna make sure that where you're touching it, you heat out any specs. So the good thing about being outside when you're doing mobile tinning is you can see everything, all the specs and all the problems, which means you can make sure it's a perfect job. Whereas when you're inside, no matter what the lighting is, it's a lot easier to miss small problems. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Now here's a freebie for you. Um, below is a link to your free 240 page window tinting guide that you can follow as you are tinting so you don't miss any steps. Now, good luck. And you know, any questions, just let us know in the comment section below. And again, you know, don't forget to please hit that subscribe button.